Welcome back to the Creo car tutorial and I will start to in this tutorial I'll start to do the the slight angle on the back fenders here uh, let me get a picture out okay so I'm gonna create a slight uh, it's more surface here it's good to also um, get a reference picture to check the surface because the blueprints never really tell you what it really looks like um, so just look at reference pictures and they will help you to make look at, uh, help you to make it look more realistic but for this part I will I'm gonna hide the side panel here and I'll go to right view I'll hide the side window as well okay so that surface basically is it's just a line connecting to this this point here but I'm gonna move it to right to the end okay I think we have a problem and I'm gonna use degree 5 curve because this curve has many twists okay I think before I do that I need to move this curve forward to match with the right view okay just let me pause the, the video there okay just use the move tool to move this line forward so it just matches the blueprint more and just go regenerate and just bring this line down make it match the blueprint or just make it a nice curve make it put it create a nice transition okay so that's fine and we just need to fix this curve here and I want to put this make that horizontal okay so we need to bring this across as well so switch on the top view move sometimes doesn't let you move that just basically means you need to activate the right views we try activating this view here and next step okay we didn't want to do that go back to edit go to move and switch to top view and move it to around there that curve is about there accept that switch it to the right view so basically just draw this curve with um, have a look with um, consideration of your reference picture and just drag it make it um, make it as as nice as you can as matching the true design of the car as you can so always check both views as well and be aware for this point here it needs to touch the surface right here and also this point touches the the end of the line here not the end but just somewhere on the line and we gotta unhide this surface we, so we can snap it onto the surface so just go through your 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 feature tree and find the surface so this is a side panel here unhide and we go edit this line so if you drag this and hold and there's a square there that means it's touching the surface 
and click the point before the end point and change it to scroll down surface curvature and this will make it the, the line blend with the surface so I'm gonna switch that to right view so it blends with the surface so we'll make the two surface connect to each other so that's really that'll be really good So basically the curvature has two two constraints. You can have one for surface curvature and you can have a horizontal. And sometimes it's good to put on natural and it will create a nice blend. And there's a light slight bend on, on down over here, more around there. And that looks fine. Maybe distribute the points more evenly across, but we'll accept that there and just have a look in 3D. Have a look on the top view, just check the lines, spend some time checking the lines. It should be more. more near the near the fenders of the car so uh, I'm gonna spend more time adjusting this curve to make it look better so I'll just pause the video here okay so here's my curve there this curve basically there's a slight curve that way and it it blends into the surface here and on the right view it should be slightly more round just like that yep I'm just I'll happy I'm happy with that I'll create a curve here on the top view let's go to the top view So bring that to the end, bring that in and accept. And so to create this surface, so basically it's just a sweep. Click the rail line and click the profile line and it will make a surface. And we'll unhide the other surface to see how it looks. Yep, so there you go, that's 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 the slight angle surface there. I'll do the right fenders later on. But right now I'm gonna start moving to the front spoiler of the car, the front panels. Uh, I like to switch to different surfaces around the car to just um, work on the basics first, work on the essential first. Make sure those things are right um, because if you you make an error sometimes you just gotta make the whole thing again so it's a big part of the car model it's a complicated surface so you might need to sometime restart or re remake major parts of the car but in the end it will make a big difference it will just make your car model more correct but right now i'm going to move on to the front panel so for the front panel it is basically just a flat vertical surface curving touching this panel here. So I'll just switch this, I'll activate the appropriate views, I'll activate this one and I'll switch to front view. Draw this line here and it connects with this surface. If you hold shift and make sure it's snapped on. Switch to this control points and delete the necess unnecessary points. Change this point so it sits right in the middle of the X direction. So it's 887.5 for me. And for this point, change the tension C to horizontal. So you drag vertical, won't, won't make 
too much of a change. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to make a copy of that curve and drag it down. So we go copy, bring it back to the front view. You click on link so it doesn't it doesn't need to connect with the points. Okay, it's still connecting to the line. So just make a copy first and then move afterwards. It's good idea to unlink it as well, unlink and move it down. So just move it around this point here and accept also make sure this point at the end is at right in the, right in the middle. So just find the middle points of your the middle plane, find the x dimension and always keep keep all your points in that uh, that place. Okay, I think we have a problem. We just need to fix the top view as well. So, of that curve. So, on the top view, it should be. We drag this down right all the way to the front and make, make a match with the car. So, right there. Yep, that's fine. Except and we just gotta delete this curve and make a copy again so curve copy accept and curve move bring the front view up drag it vertically down to there and accept and just make sure the points are right on the right points 887.5 except one more thing just to add a line here press the middle button to make another line except and move them to the end Accept and we'll create the front panel surface and accept. So there you go, that's the front panel. We, we can trim it out, we can trim the, the mouth of the car here later on, but that surface there has been created. And we'll make more adjustments later on, but the key is to create. The, the basic sh shapes first and create the, all your surface using basic square shapes. Make sure it doesn't have too much curve on the line and trim trim your surface out and in the end it will look more like a, like a more uniform surface and it will be more more uh, has more quality. So that's, that's the end of this part. Uh, follow the links for the next part of the video.